Analog, recording, paradise. Until something stops working. That's some console fuzz that won't go away for some reason. It's a delight to work with these tools and also requires one to be very patient and understand how they work. So, my name's Joshua, this is Kismet Studio, and last night and today I've been trying to figure out why this tape machine is not playing at the proper speed. Right, basically you hit play and uh, the tape either draws to a start or simply won't start at all. So you wonder, maybe it's the motor, maybe it's the torque relay. Well, I flipped up the deck here to show you exactly what's going on under here and how I assessed and I'm attempting to solve this problem. Um, you know, all tape machines function on the same principles, so no matter what kind you have, if you're having an issue with your playback button, um, then this video might be helpful for you. So, that's a four track in very healthy condition. We like that. This is the two track, which had some issues playing tape in the middle of a session, which is not good. You don't want that. So, after replacing all these relays here, I found that the problem, if anything, got worse. You go to look elsewhere, and the first obvious place is the pinch roller, which is also called the capstan idler arm, which is the puck that makes contact with the capstan to drive the tape forward. All right, past the heads. So, to do this adjustment properly, the manual suggests that you go to the center of the reel, you know, uh, tape evenly distributed. You go under here in the latch, and you use a scale to make an adjustment. I don't have this particular scale, so I had to just do it the old-fashioned way and feel it out. But basically, that is the pinch roller assembly underneath. This is the spring, which is where we made an adjustment here to get the proper amount of pressure and contact between the pressure roller and the capstan. So I'm going to go ahead and press play and we'll see what's going on here. Alright. So that's pretty good. Right now it's returning to normal speed each time. What you don't want is inconsistent pressure, so I'm just going back and forth here and checking to make sure that it works the same each time. All right, now we're getting some help from this reel giving it some spin. Let's let it cool down and then try a cold start. That's feeling pretty good in there. And over time, you know, these things can loosen up, so just take your Allen screw, your Allen key here, and make an adjustment. Loosen this nut, uh, adjust it. You know, the, the manual says four pounds of pressure for seven and a half and 15 nips and three and a half pounds of pressure for the slower versions. Um, you know, you could pretty much feel out what four pounds of pressure is like. And um, that would involve tying a weight to the capstan. But, you know, I find if you just give it a, a minute and, and listen to it and, and move it around and feel it, you can feel the happy place where it wants to be. And then um, simply tighten that nut back up and you're good to go. So I hope this video helped for any of you guys that are out there uh, wondering what to do about your machine that isn't working. Uh, 
with only expensive technicians and forums at your behest. Uh, any other tape tricks, feel free to post or comment. Um, I hope this helped and continue making good music. Rock on.